everyone welcome back to my channel time for another tutorial and this one will be quick and easy someone asked in the comments how to put a dom skin up for sale on the store in rec room so keep in mind that you can't make any changes after you've published it without having to unpublish it and then redo the process again so really make sure you finish before continuing I'm going to very quickly make a nice easy neon skin to put up on the store so I can show you the whole process. So bear with me while I do my thing. Okay, so I've covered the walls and the ceiling and the floor with the color I want and then I've stuck up all of my neon signs all around the dorm. Now let's get this thing up for sale. Now what you want to do is on your maker pen choose select and then select absolutely every single piece of your dorm skin. It's not that hard if you just hold down the trigger button because then a yellow circle shows up and everything that it touches gets selected. Do not select these three chips that are on the upstairs platform. Let me show you. No, no, no. Okay, once you're pretty sure you've got absolutely everything in your dorm selected, you want to click the move button on your maker pen and then move the entire dorm just up. And then you can see what's left. Nothing. I'm pretty sure that means I've selected everything except the outside black walls. I've just realized I forgot those. So you unmove. Click back on select. Don't accidentally click anything else because you'll have to do this over and over again. And we'll try it again. Move it all up. Yep. Perfect. That's everything. So then you click undo the move back on select. So now if absolutely everything is selected that you want in this dorm skin, you just look at your maker pen menu and click make invention. This little screen will pop up for you. It says create invention and there are 66 objects selected, which sounds about right, but we'll soon know if it's not. I'm going to call this neon sign graveyard. Click next. Would you like to save your invention with a room anchor? Yes, always click yes. You need to do this for dorms. So when people buy them and spawn them in, they look right. Then it will give you your camera to take a photo that will show up as the main picture in the rec room store. I usually snap anything and then fix it up a bit later. So I might just do this because you can always change that later on. Click confirm. And then this screen pops back up with a few more options. So you can see that there are a few hashtags there that come up automatically, but you can also add up to five of your own. I really like to use art, dorm skin, maybe character and decor as well. You need the dorm anchor tag for your dorm to even show up in the store. Sometimes it doesn't come up for me and I don't know why it's really annoying, but thank God it has this time. And then you can add a description. But with the description and the hashtags, even the title and the photo, you can change all of that a little bit later. And then I'm just going to click on publish. Once you publish an invention, it can no longer be updated and all inventions must follow the rec room code of conduct. And I'm going to put it up for free first. Now you can decide if other people can publish your invention, edit or save it. I think the best option is use only. That way no one can make any money off of your invention. Do you want to customize an invention published announcement for your subscribers? Yes, I do. 
I like to give my subscribers an announcement that a dorm is free for the first 100 ish downloads. Sometimes I forget to keep an eye on it, so I'll accidentally leave it up and 200 people will get it for free. But this is a really good way to get your subscribers to download your content and hopefully get more eyes on it and get more sales later when you put the price up. There you have it. If you have any questions about the whole process, let me know in the comments below. When I first started publishing and selling my own doms, could take up to an hour just to do this part of selecting everything, moving it up and down, realizing I forgot something, doing it all over again. It was absolutely infuriating. So hopefully you can learn from my mistakes, but if you do make any, let me know and I'll try and help you figure it out so you can get your dorm up on the store. Usually if my dorms aren't making that many sales to start off with, that's when I'll try to use a different photo, write a different description, send out a different kind of announcement and maybe play around with the price a little bit. But if you have any other suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments or send me a message on Rec Room. Mwah!